Hey there, hi there, ho there, everyone. Hi, how is you? I already see people in the chat. I see humans. This is great. Uh, tonight we're talking about found footage films. That's why we're here. That's why we have arrived. I'm Shut Up James, if you didn't already know. I'm gonna drink, uh, I'm gonna drink this uh, energy drink because uh, she is sleepy. And I'll just pretend that it's uh, a white claw. Mm. We're all created evil. No, you're right the first time you, <laughs> wait. You try, yeah, evil, you tried to say equal. No, that was a genuine typo. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Uh, but I will go ahead and say that fluorescent, I said Pogo, because person of many names, but fluorescent, you were first. And that's on period. Hi, Brian. Hello. Hi, everybody. Oh. Ermer Gersh, what are we doing? Nick says, boo, through my sickness and delirium, <laughs> I'm showing up to wish you happy. Thank you very much, Nick. Go go to sleep. Actually, what did you watch today? Before you uh, go to your, you know, before you go to the sheepies, what did you end up watching? Because I know you had posted a poll asking for um, advice. Let a girl know. Prima Donna, hello. Kelly, I am great. How are you? Hello, everybody. This is exciting. I um I will say, besides the fact that this video has a theme, right? Found footage films. Um, I have no agenda, so we're just gonna we're just gonna like shoot shit and talk about things. I have to. I have a hard stop at about eight forty five. Thank God for all of you, right? Like otherwise, I could just keep going. Um, but because uh, I have to, I'm filming another. Uh, episode of a podcast with Check the Candy. So if you haven't watched my other episodes of Check the Candy, that link is down below. Um, but I have a lot of fun with those guys. So we're going to film another podcast episode tonight. And they basically they basically took me ranting, which they say they love, because who doesn't love me ranting about random stuff? And they've turned it into an episode where we're literally going to, they're going to pull na like names and topics out of a hat and, and say, James, rant. So um, you should you should check that out. That's gonna be great. Uh, Living someone who got sick too. No, what are you sick from? Last Sunday, my housemate got a stomach virus. Not feeling it. We're not feeling this. We're not down with this sickness. The passenger and Meg too. Oh, I haven't seen the second Meg, the trench one. I I haven't seen that one yet. The first one was. It was fun. I think I watched it like on a plane a couple of years ago when it came out. Uh, it was cute. Let's talk about lost footage. You know what I want to talk about is the footage that has not been unearthed. Thank you, Derek. Uh, Derek, if you will. Christian, bow, 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 bow. hello. Wow, everyone's here. Shuttered Island, Every, everyone. Oh, I'm blockbusted. Blockbusted. Everyone here is a friend of the channel. Uh, I was going to say blockbusted is a, is a friend of the channel, but everyone is. Christian Mingle, it's been ages, literally 10 to 15 years. Wait, do you two, do you, are you just being facetious again? Niels will constantly jump into my polls that I like post and lie. <laughs> so I'll be like, what should I watch? And he will say like the opposite thing that he actually means. Or I'll be like, hey, hey, who's going to this event? And he'll say he is. And I get excited. And I'm like, no, he's not. He's, he's being unkind. Where is Meg 2? That's ready to go. I might actually watch Meg if Meg 2 is ready. Oh, I feel like it should. Yeah, I Oh, I guess, yeah, didn't that come out like last summer or fall? So it should be streaming everywhere by now. If Nick is watching it, um, it has been years. How are you? Oh, y'all, do we know, know each other? Christian, mingle back in, in the chat, please. I'm great. I can't believe you're here. Well, he is, you know, so. Uh, now we got, oh, wow. Look at social media bringing, look at, look at Shut Up James bringing the world together. Actually, everyone here I've met online. Blockbusted videos, we've hung out in person now. We talk all the time, but we met through like video games. We met through the Friday 13th uh, video game and the social medias. I'm telling the truth. Niels, I believe you now. Small world. I love it. Uh, you need some stronger liquor for Meg too. Oh, I, I mean, I'm assuming I would expect it to be stupid. I would not expect it to be... Um, hi, Esteban. I would not expect it to be 
good. Like, like a so bad it's good. Cause that's kind of how the first one was like, it's ridiculous and over the top. Like it, it was almost as enjoyable. No, cause I think this movie is way more enjoyable, but I think it was going for like the deep blue sea route where like, you know, it's dumb and silly and over the top, but there are some cool action sequences. That's how I feel about um, Deep Blue Suit. That's my opinion on that. But that's not found footage. That's not that's not very found footage of you guys. Uh, let me see. I do really want to quickly call out my Patreon members who are mostly already here, right? Like I'm calling you guys out all the time from shouting your names to the rooftops because you're all fantastic. Pogo Yaga, who you're in here as fluorescent soda. Um, Scott Witherall, Melissa Reskowski, Richard Gibson, Christian Mingle, I guess now that's what I'm going to call you because of Niels, and if you don't want me to, tell me I won't. Uh, Eric Greenwood, Jen Ryan, and Esteban M, you are right there. Thank you, guys. You guys are the best. Y'all been suggesting some really good movies on the Patreons. Um, some not great ones either, I'm not going to lie, but I'm still glad that I watched them all. Um, I feel bad. There's some of us like... I, I wasn't like reacting because like I I want to like emote and have fun with the movie and I was like damn I just I didn't react as much as I probably should have you know um so did you guys go to the archive yet no so that is March in March we're going to the archive it's only like an hour from me a little over an hour but I'm never down there and I was off today but I spent the day doing I had to do like adult things like in the morning time like I had to like be a grown-up and then I I tried to like edit today, but y'all ever like work on a project or do something for several hours. And then when you're basically almost done, realize, wow, this was a waste of time. That's kind of what I did today. I wanted to be editing my salt burn reaction. And instead I chopped up and made like a salt burn movie review. Cause I was like, maybe I'll try doing this. And it actually took so much time to do that I, I don't even know when the salt burn reaction is going to go up now because it feels like a whole day was wasted. So, I mean, we're going to see. We're going to see what happens. But our archive hasn't happened yet. That was my very roundabout way of telling you that the archive hasn't happened. Uh, what message boards were you on? I was everywhere. Blood Theater, Zombie Keeper, Ultimate Killer, Ultimate Halloween MB, Horror DVDs, Ultimate DVD. Oh, my gosh. I was on a couple, but I was on, I was on like a, in like a poltergeist fan group back in the day, whenever I posted my poltergeist modern trailers on YouTube, that's like 10 years ago, probably. That's when I started getting into like the Facebook groups, but I was only in a couple. I was in the poltergeist ones. And it's funny because the guy who was in charge of the poltergeist page, side tangent, here we go, is the guy that is doing the commentary, uh, like a fan commentary on the Shout Factory releases of Poltergeists 2 and 3. He actually was was asked as like the head of like the Poltergeist fan club to do a separate commentary. So you get the director's commentary and then you also get his. But that was the group I was part of. And he was one of the people who was like egging me on to like make the modern trailers. And so I guess I can thank him for for my first modern trailer. Trailer? Cool. Trailer being Poltergeist 3. And then I backpedaled into two and then eventually I did one and et cetera, et cetera. And then now here we are. So, um, but, oh, and then eventually I got into like the Friday the 13th game chat when that was being announced. And that's how I met, you know, my router dies. The Meg 2 Witch Project. That's what it is. You know what? Just throw a camera into the ocean and uh, as it spirals down, it's just 90 minutes of, of terror. That's what that was. Uh, still haven't gotten over Jaws. I need to work up watching meg i'll be honest the the first meg movie it's very like over the cgi and silly and whatever so you're probably fine i don't remember anything being scary is salt Gur sorry blah, 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 blah. words is salt burn going to be patreon only no it'll be patreon only actually announcement the full length uh full length salt burn movie reaction is going up tonight at the very end of this live stream. So this live stream has to have a hard stop about 8.45 because I have to film something else afterwards. Uh, at 8.45, it is pre-scheduled to post on Patreon. So if you're already on the Patreon, you'll already get to watch it. Um, if not, it will be on YouTube, definitely on YouTube. I was hoping for like Monday, but I haven't even gotten to start editing yet because I wasted my day doing a review instead. I'm so sorry, but it will go up. It will go up next month, February. I'm dedicating. I've already said this, but we're going to say it again. 
that's the whole point of this live stream is, is February is dedicated to found footage. We're doing found footage film February period. So every reaction minus one, I have one trick up my sleeve besides found footage movies for February. Fuh, 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 fuh. Uh, every reaction almost will be a found footage movie. I've already filmed one. I have like four others like ready to go that I'm going to film. And then I'll do some polls. I just, uh, both, all my thumbs cracked uh, on Patreon where y'all can tell me which found footage movies to watch. Uh, let me just see. Starting 2003. Okay. Wow. No, I was not on, I was not in these group chats in 2003. It doesn't seem like 20 years. That is 20 years. Uh, it's it's the H2O of, of group chats, if you will. I'm sorry I'm a little behind on these uh, chats. Um, if they still have it, so they had an import DVD of Freaked that you need. It's Alex Winter with the hilarious Keanu Reeves cameo. Freaked, that kind of sounds familiar. I definitely, I definitely haven't seen it. There's like names sometimes or, or titles that I'll be like, oh, I think I know that, but... It, I'm thinking of Freak Show. There was a movie called Freak Show back in the day that used to scare me when I was a kid, and I don't remember anything about it. I think it was like a comedy, but I was scared of it. Um, I don't really go out of my way to watch found footage films, but I do have a few favorites. Well, Prima Donna, what are they? Hey, James, everyone. Uh, Lee, hello. I want to stop and say hi. I really can't stay because of my work. Damn, Lee, we're always at work, right? Have a great night. I'm glad you're going to jump in and out and stuff. Uh, Meg wanted to is heavy on the Chinese advertisers, like the Transformers movies. I believe that it's, it's even the first movie even like had that whole end scene with the wedding and, and the beach and, and the whatever. Um, bonjour, dice rolling. I was just, I've been editing all day, you guys. And, and kind of like not, um, I was like editing, what I thought I should be editing, but not what I wanted to be editing. And then when I was like, you know what? I haven't eaten yet today. And I'm kind of feeling meh. Like I posted something and I'm like, ah, this, this doesn't give me this. I thought this would be fun. And I'm, I'm kind of mad that I, I wanted again to be filming my saltburn reaction, but I did a review instead and maybe it'll, it'll do well. Maybe it won't. But I kind of was like, I feel like I wasted the day. I sat down downstairs uh, and I put on uh, a couple of dice Rollins um movie reviews i basically was so bummed about my movie review because i feel like i wasted the day doing it because i that's not something i usually do you know i figured out like i try something new i was like ugh, let me go like watch a good one and then i watched uh dice rolling does all the halloween movies well all the halloween movies up to five i'm waiting patiently for the rest of them just so you know but i watched um two three and four today. I couldn't watch five because I know you don't like five and I like five. So I couldn't, I didn't rewatch that one, but I've already seen your reaction to that before. Your review, I'm sorry. And then I started watching um, Just Trust Ash. Uh, he and, oh gosh, wait, what's her name? I already forgot her name. It's he and his girlfriend and they watch movies and they're hilarious. Um, and they were watching Insidious and I watched that. And then I was like, oh, I have to go upstairs. And Talk about found footage. James the, I'm a jellical cat. Is that good? Hi, Leo. Uh, I understand this reference. <laughs> uh, you're a freak show. Yeah, I know. Uh, George from the Horror Hour would be a good person to hit up for found footage suggestions too. Oh, okay, I will. You know what? I, um, Gosh, when Yutaka like left the horror hour, I kind of like fell off of like a lot of my collabs and stuff. I, uh, that was my, that he was my in, I think. Um, and then like people started, once he left, I think they took like a, kind of like a mini break. Uh, and then a lot of other creators, the holiday season happened, like big disconnect. And then January, I was like, oh God, where am I? What am I doing? Dennis Roland, I'm glad there's some smart people. <laughs> I know what a Jellicle cat is. Was that the reference? Well, I don't know if it's good or bad. I just know it's from Cavs. Um, didn't see Freaked entirely. It was a lot like The Dark Backward, though. Another movie I saw a few scenes of. Er, er, er. I aim to cover more of the Halloween franchise for October this year. It's funny because that's what I figured. Because there are a couple things that I have on my radar and I keep wanting to watch them. And I'm like, don't. They're going to, they have to be for Halloween. It makes no sense. I mean, I can do whatever I want, you know, like some adult, but it doesn't make sense to, 
to be like, let's watch Trick or Treat in January. Um, ow. Mr. T was hilarious. I don't know in what. He sure talks a lot. She shouts too. Uh, it's too young. Oh, the A team. There was an A team reference in there. Yeah, I wasn't. I didn't watch the A team. <laughs> What's everyone drinking? What is everyone drinking? Before we start talking about found footage, finally. Fuh, 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 fuh. Oh, you know what? While everyone's telling me what they're drinking, um, I'll remind you. I'm on a couple episodes of the podcast called Check the Candy. Those two guys are great. They do lots of interviews with like indie filmmakers and like fan filmmakers and stuff like that. So it's it's very interesting and it's cool. Um, for some, for some reason, they have me on a couple times. So I'm filming another episode tonight, which will probably air like next weekend or the weekend after. But there's already some episodes up. Links down below. Um, a filmmaker I've worked with once, but met a few times, and he is like really awesome. He's actually the guy who wrote and directed. Uh, the Friday 13th fan film Roseblood. His production company is working on a new project called The Death of Snow White. I put a link down below for that. I got to watch the teaser and I was like, this is cool. Because again, it's independent. This, these guys live like down the street and they hire people from all over the country to fly in, film some stuff, and then bounce. And I'm like, that's the coolest freaking thing. Um, let me see. Um... I have stuff. I have like unboxings. I think I'm going to keep my unboxings to Instagram. I feel like Instagram is the movie collection, like the physical actual collection. YouTube is the, you know, watching and the talking about them. That makes sense. Gin and tonic. Yes. I'm still doing dry January. I started like a week in and was like, uh, I feel like I want to lose these chins. I feel bloated all the time. And so it's been a couple weeks since I've had like a a drink, but these energy drinks are sure helping. Dice with the water. Wawa. I just watched Hospital Massacre. Never even heard of that one. Uh, only, only realized it has a valence tank. Oh! I'm always looking for... Um, I'm always looking for Valentine's Day themed movies. It would have to wait until next year. Because I th this February is packed, you guys. I'm sorry. I want to put that on there. Er, er, er. I have like a list of. Uh, bah, 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 bah. <sniffs> Hospital Massacre 1981. Cool. Um, let me see. Water again. No chaser. Ooh. He's hardcore, you guys. That's like real, like, hard, you know? Uh, you skipped my comment about chloroforming you because <laughs> i want it to be a surprise when you do it um let me see esteban okay found footage is pretty ignored but really like the bay natural attacks and body horror i never heard of the bay who here has seen the bay not like b-a-e it's b-a-y snow white sure had its uh oh i remember i watched that i own that i think i i definitely own it on dvd i might own it on videotape too um i wanted to love that and i didn't back when i watched it because I, I love squirting weaver i love sam neil sam neil's in it i i have to watch it again it plays out more like a drama like a dark drama the horror elements are not really there uh always late to the party kenneth heller uh got money long made for me in my head damn you tiktok wait which one who did always late to the party why I got money, man? I don't know what, I don't, I have, I'm on TikTok, but I'm not on TikTok. I don't post there. I don't look there. So I don't know what songs are trending on the tick, the tickety tockety. Oh, are, I've never seen the original Wreck, but I've seen Quarantine, which is going to end up on the channel as reaction. Um, I've heard of the taking of Deborah Logan. Haven't seen it. Troll Hunter, somebody, I think actually, no, somebody mentioned that in the comments. The Devil's Doorway. Ooh, okay these sound good and i just had some this tonight it's a water kind of night we're parched we're thirsty you broke your thumb why leo why did you really x-ray i haven't seen x-ray wine get it 
I said two more weeks till I chloroform from you and steal your new nightmare. I mean, Vegas. I will absolutely not be bringing nightmare with me because I know you will attempt to steal it. Mm -hmm. Um, money long. It's a song. I'm nope. I'm not <gasps> Christine. Hello. Taking of Deborah Logan. Okay. So should I, I have to watch that then. Christine is in charge of the CT Horror Fest that we do in Connecticut, which the lineup of the couple people I've seen so far, I was like, thank you, thank you. It's like 20 to 25 minutes away from me. That's it. Um, and the lineup that they do is honestly better than kind of the big, the bigger conventions everyone's always talking about. Like I'm going to a convention in March and it's a big one and there's some good people going, but I'm like, I think there's two people I'm excited for of like the the 15 or 16 that they've announced. That's not the case when I go to CT Horror Fest. I go to CT Horror Fest and I'm just like, I need to go both days because I have to get every single person. I hate found footage movies, but the visit is amazing. See, found footage is tough, right? Because you have to suspend disbelief more than a regular movie because there's like the cringy in-between moments. And my brain is logistical. Like I just watched a movie. It was actually good. It was a good found footage movie. It's going to be the first uh, reaction of February. I guess I'll just say, oh, I already announced it. Oh, no, I announced it on Patreon, not to anyone else, but that's fine. It's Creep. So I watched the found footage film Creep, and I, I, my brain thinks logistically. I mean, I'm stupid. I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm a dumb bitch, but I, my brain immediately goes to, why would the camera be there? Or who's holding the camera right now? Or who's doing this if the camera's over here? Like things that were happening that like, didn't quite make sense. The thing with creep is they happened a few times, but not a lot. And the times that I was like getting kind of like annoyed or frustrated, they actually put a spin on it. And and basically I, I looked, I was like, okay, never mind. You explained why it's happening. So um I thought that was great. But a lot of them don't do that. A lot of the found footage movies, you just like have to rely on you know, we are in this place for this reason and we're filming it for this reason. And then chaos ensues. And then that's the duration of the movie. And there's no kind of playing with the perception of the audience as much. And I think creep at least because all I've watched for the, the month of reaction so far is creep. And I think that one did a good job. Boo you whore. I thought we were friends. What? Cause I not bringing a movie for you to steal. Yes, you have to watch it now. Okay, so I'll, you know, taking, I'll put that in the poll. All my movie polls now I do on Patreon. So if you are not, if anyone's here is not already on there, there's the first tier is just for the polls and uh, like the chat. And I think, stupid thumbs up. And uh, did I do early access? I think you also get early access to the YouTube videos. So when a reaction goes up on YouTube, Every level on Patreon gets early access, whether it's two days early or a week early. The second it's done and and on YouTube's, Patreon members get it. Although it might not be scheduled for anyone else publicly for like a week or two after. Because like sometimes I make them way in advance just to be done with them um, and not stressing. But the first level is literally you, it's like a dollar fifty for a month and you you can partake in all the polls that tell me what I have to watch. Um, and you get the early access to all the videos. So that link, I think it's worth it. I don't know. It's just me, but, um, but I'm going to put that, I'll put that taking of Deborah Logan, the taking of Deborah Logan. If that wins a poll, we're watching it. Uh, that's when James disappears in two weeks. Exactly. Christian, like she's giving herself away. They'll find you. The squad will find you. Uh, just pay for Patreon. I'm such a badass. <gasps> Did you? You were, you were, uh, I think like my second badass member. Um, there's the opening kill, which is the doll is the, the, the dollar 50 one, which is like the intro. Then there's the legacy character, which is all the same stuff as the previous tier, but you get access to all the full length videos, all the early access, all the everything, the chats, the call outs, all the things that's the legacy character. Then there's the badass, which is all of that, but you also get a movie request and I have to watch it within like, say five to six weeks, even though I think I've been delivering them within like two or three. Um, and you get a verbal call out, like I praise you for the duration of the video. So um, thank you, Leo. Also the Poughkeepsie tapes. That was one that I, I was, I'm thinking, 
I'm not saying words right now, but I, that one I'm definitely going to put on the poll too, because I've heard a lot of things about it and I'm interested to see if it is actually scary. Nobody knows who James is <laughs> exactly. James who? Um, I also like the visit. I did like the visit. I, I, I didn't, you know what? When M. Night Shyamalan like fell off the map, right? Because his movies just, it started being like, he just relies on the twist and the movies were not scary anymore. They weren't interesting. They seemed pretty lazy. The happening started off great and then just went, Pew, whatever. Um, he took a break for a while. He came back with that Split movie. And I didn't, I didn't, I haven't seen Split. I heard it's amazing. And I was like, oh good, he's back. That's great. And then he came out with The Visit and I was like, no, I'm fine. Like, I don't like, I'm not like huge into horror comedies. I'm not going to seek it out. But Moses was like, you have to watch it. We're watching it. And I watched it, and it was a blast. I loved that. Oh, no, man. We don't talk about that film. Is it that scary? Because he says, one, I won't watch. It's not for me. Because it's scary or because it's found for, for why? The synopsis for your channel is what? Alien abduction. Is that found footage? I don't think I've heard of a movie called Alien Abduction. Wasn't the that the fourth kind movie? No, that was like it was like footage, but it was also like regular movie, like um, Behind the Mask. I would consider that a found footage movie. Like seventy five percent of the movie is, is documentary style. You know, I haven't seen any found footage except the VHS horror movies. Those are on my list. I'm watching at least the first one uh, for. Found footage February. No. I won't. You know I will. Oh, she just did. Damn. Well, the, I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Page who? <laughs> I don't know her. Okay, let me go to the new comments because I'm so far behind. Um, Poughkeepsie was meh for me, like all the Hell House and October. See, okay, I heard the Hell House movies were also like meh, but I heard the last one was really good. So I'm like, well, I want to watch the latest one. I need to watch the other ones. So whatever. Um, Anya and Furiosa seems cheesy. I don't know. She's a great actress, but I don't know why, but I love it. Well, that's not very found footage of you, Leo. But I think she's a great actress, and I think that'll be fine. Um, wow, ignoring your base. <laughs> I got stuff to do. Also, how many, Adam, I keep like not knowing who I'm talking to. Your name changed again, and I. <laughs> I love it, but holy shit. First Hell House is amazing. I will die on that hill. Well, okay, damn. Well, then we're if this is a hit, we'll do found footage February again next year and the year after because there's lots of found footage films that I have not watched. I've never even seen The Exorcism of Emily Rose. That's found footage, isn't it? Wait, no, it's not. I'm thinking of The Last Exorcism. I've seen that movie. Never mind. So I'm just being stupid. Anya's amazing and, and fine. She cute. She's a great actress, but when she says I'm furious, it makes me gay laugh in a good way. <laughs> I Oh, I didn't watch the teaser. Did she say that in the in the trailer or a teaser or whatever for oh, that Furiosa movie? Okay, found footage. I didn't do a thumbs up. I didn't do a thumbs up just now. Oh, let's see. What I'm definitely watching on the channel for um, the found footage situation, like I said, Creep. I'm definitely watching at least the first VHS movie. I want to watch at least one and two, but I'm definitely the first one. I'm watching Quarantine. I have a surprise that's not found footage that I will not be saying. That's going to just pop up. Um, Patreon will know about it before anyone else. Um, I'm gonna probably end the month with Creep 2, so I will watch the second one of those. What else was on my... Oh, and then I keep doing polls because I'm gonna either re-watch Paranormal Activity, which I haven't seen in a couple of years, or a friend of mine suggested a movie called The Tunnel, which is found footage, like, I think it's Australian, um which is funny because back when back like 15 years ago, a friend and I wrote a movie called The Tunnel about a film crew. Well, it's actually about a 
college students who go in to film a project in an abandoned tunnel and you think that it like things happen and you think that it's like haunted or this and that it turns out that someone's actually living in there and there's this whole other story and blah 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 blah, blah and they get attacked and most of them die so anyway uh he was like watch this movie called the tunnel it's a film crew they go into a tunnel to investigate these stories and blah blah blah, blah and then havoc ensues and i was like it sounds pretty familiar but uh excited for that uh the second one is so good for vhs oh but anyway sorry the patreon on the damn it on the not youtube we will have the polls and you guys can vote if i'm gonna watch the tunnel or poughkeepsie tapes or uh paranormal activity um the hospital no not hospital massacre whatever i'll have a bunch you know we're gonna do one or two others that are not already on my list oh blair witch i haven't seen that one because i've only seen the first and then book of shadows have you watched the possession of hannah grace it's not found footage but it's good no no i have not she's always on that poll gotta make that coin i think i've missed every single possession type movie other than Insid blah, 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 insidious conjuring well those are really good ones since 1999's 1999's stigmata why can't i speak words um Ooh, whoever who watched bless the child do you guys remember bless the child that was a good like possession uh, kind not really possession movie i guess but like for some reason stigmata and bless the child were like released the same time ish and that was a good movie i remember back in the day wait red terry is a possession movie too right i i would think yeah you don't really know that it is until the end but yeah i watched the tunnel fairly recently didn't care for it i felt like it dragged i think even Zach, the one who suggested it, said, like, if you can get past the first, like, 30 or 45 minutes, then it's good. Bless the James. Me, but that was a million years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. I skipped Esteban. Don't watch Wreck before quarantine. Wreck is the original, but better. It has way better sequels. Yeah, see, I didn't, um, I've never seen any of the original Wreck movies. So when I watched Quarantine, I found out that it was a remake, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, that seems interesting. And I saw a couple clips from the original. I was like, oh, okay, like, same vibe. Never seen the Quarantine sequel, because there's one called, like, Terminal or something, which is a cute pun of a name, but it takes place, like, in the terminal of an airport or something. Looked terrible. Straight to, like, DVD at the time. Awful. Uh, I watched the trailers for the Rex sequels because they were coming out still. Like, every couple of years, another one would come out, and there was... The first two, at least, is it two or three, are found footage. And then one of them was, like, not found footage. It was, like, a bride on her wedding day. And she's, like, got a chainsaw and she's killing the things. And I was like, oh. And then there's another one that I think is, like, the girl from the original. I guess we she lives, maybe, I guess. And she's, like, on a cruise ship. And and the zombie, the creature things are on the cruise ship with her. And so I someday maybe I will get to watch, maybe next year we'll watch all of those. Um, oh, there you are. Didn't realize you were live. My bad. That's okay. I was just talking about uh, the tunnel. This is Zach. Zach, the whole world, the whole world, world Zach. That's, uh, I was saying the tunnel is on my like poll uh, of votes for um, like what movie to watch, you know, in my found footage, Febu found footage February situation. Oh my God, Angela Bettis is in it. May such I still haven't watched May. His wife's sister. Oh yes, yes. I'm sorry. I'm going back. Yes, his wife's his, his wait. His sister was in uh, quarantine. She's a great actress. I feel like she's very underrated. She was also in the Exorcism of Emily Rose. She's also in White Chicks. She's the one who goes Sally, I like Sally. So um, she's an icon. Let me see. Oh, sir, a cruise ship. It's not a cruise ship. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. I'll have to watch. So maybe next year we'll do all the rec movies. We'll do one, two, three, four. I think there's, I think there's four or there are five. That's a 2025 question, you know? So, so <laughs> yes, it's Dexter's sister wife. Angela is in Bless the Child. Yes, she plays, um, Wait, I remember seeing her, but why was she in Blessed? Is she like one of the girls that they have like held captive? I feel like I she's like held captive somewhere. 
I haven't seen that movie in a very long time. I used to have one of those like screener copies on tape. My mom used to work at um, a hotel and they would do events sometimes. And I guess like the movie companies or whatever would come in and like give out the screener tapes for like renting or cinema, whatever the hell they were doing. And I got, they're all gone now. They're all long gone. But I got like, um, what was that movie? Was it called The Kid with Bruce Willis? I think it was called The Kid. Uh, Bless the Child. Uh, that's where I got feeders, which I, now if you look online, it's like a $200 videotape because it doesn't exist. It's on Tubi though, for free. They were married for the first few seasons of, oh, right. Because in real life, it's it was his wife, but in the show, it was his sister. I forgot. Um, Christian says there's four. Blair Witch Project is my all-time favorite found footage film. I haven't seen it in a long time, but it creeped me out when I was younger. I, when I watched the Blair Witch Project when I was younger, I was like interested, a little bored sometimes. I loved the idea of like not knowing am I watching something real? Because I was a kid and I thought it was real. Because it was advertised as real. And, and this is me being what, like nine, nine or 10 years old or something like that. So I was like, this is crazy. All my friends are talking about it. And when the movie ended, I was like, oh, okay. I'm like, that's pretty creepy, but like, whatever. And I went to get up and I like immediately retracted back in my seat and I didn't want to move. Like I didn't realize how scared I was and how unsafe I felt until I went to get up and turn the movie off. And I just ended up letting the credits play, which ended up being good because then there's like extra footage at the end. My tape had like more footage that wasn't in the, the thing. Um... Blair Project is so good. I'm glad to see people acknowledging it again because it got dragged so hard in the years after its release. And the thing is, it was a phenomenon. Like it was same thing with Paranormal Activity. When Paranormal Activity came out, everyone like lost their minds. It was this big deal. And then haters were like, well, it's so boring. Or it's so like, it's such a simple. Yeah, that's the idea is it's a simple premise that someone took and they elevated the genre. You know, it's not like it hadn't been done before because Blair Witch already happened. But um, yeah, get over it. Series 7, The Contenders, for some reason considered found footage horror, 90s reality TV show of a natural kill or be killed lottery. It's a weird one. Someone else mentioned this, unless it was you that mentioned it on a different social. Um, but I'd never, I've never heard of that before. Uh, marketing for Blair Witch was lit. It was. That was crazy. That was crazy. Oh my gosh, I'm so behind on these. Exist is a good, oh, I've heard of that one exists exists i'll put yeah i'll have a patreon 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 i know i keep saying it but that's where all the polls are going to be that's where you guys will tell me what to watch and i'll watch it um that's her name i couldn't remember who um see i'm so damn it i can't catch it catch up to all these um if um I'm going to try to read all the comments, but if I'm missing any, I'm sorry. They're just moving very quickly, which is great, right? Sounds, or actually, if my response is delayed, it's because I'm trying to read them all. Sounds like this is amazing. Just watch Manhunter. I've never seen Manhunter, but I am I want to someday. And Brian Cox is in it, right? And he's great uh, as an actor, but I love Red Dragon, and I, I don't think it's going to beat Red Dragon for me. So I'm kind of like, do I waste my time? Um, I need to watch Exists. That sounds like a good one. I tried Willow Creek, but had trouble getting into it. Oh, Willow Creek. Somebody else mentioned that too. Lake Mungo. Oh, some, was that you? All these names are sounding familiar. I think y'all have been recommending these uh, recently. <laughs> I am lazy. Uh, imagine when you hit 100,000 followers. Yeah, have fun catching up. How does, like, how does Nick or the Horror Hour or how do any of them do it? I don't, well, I, what I've noticed is I'll watch their lives and there is a, it seems like there's a delay, but they're really trying to get through like all of the comments. And that's why sometimes we're on here for like eight hours. Let me see. Honestly, skip all of mine. No, <laughs> I'm, I will not. I refuse. We get it. Our comments mean shit to you. <laughs> this is it. Found footage. My found, found footage live is what gets me canceled. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, what did I just do? There we go. Watch Manhunter in the background. It doesn't add much if you liked Red Dragon. Okay, yeah. See, because I feel like Ed, Red Dragon probably already took that material and then elevated it, right? Um, oops, if I skip Leo's comedy, he's going to lose his mind. 
it's called moderators girl uh well i don't have i don't nick does not have moderators i don't have a moderator tyler doesn't do shit for me lake mungo is this is that good everyone should i put lake mungo like Mungo. All I think of is Mungo from um, Blazing Saddles. Mungo, like Sheriff Park. Um, let me see. Stephen Lang is amazing in it too. Yes, it's the pre. Well, Red Dragon is a remake essentially. It's a another adaptation of the same book. So Manhunter is based on the book Red Dragon, right? Because the book is called Red Dragon. Yeah, the book is called Red Dragon. Um, but because they had Anthony Hopkins come back for Hannibal, they're like, well, why don't we just kind of remake that so we have all of them with Anthony Hopkins? And I'm glad they did because I think I think Red Dragon is a great movie, even though the director, I think, is trash, right? Um, when you make it big, I get 15% off Skip. And <laughs> Bobby James is not. <laughs> Laughs in chaos. No! <laughs> Oh no, all like memes are just gonna start flooding, like all inappropriate memes. And don't piss off Adam, because all of a sudden, oh, get me canceled real quick. Genuinely creeps me out still, Lake Mungo, watched it last weekend. Oh, okay. Not big found, not big on found footage films. Um, Paranormal Activity, Grave Encounters. Oh, The Fourth Kind creeped me out, because I thought that was based on real tapes, and it turns out it's not. Uh, another, they did a good job with that marketing thing. And I feel like Mila at the end of that movie gives a very good performance. I was very stressed watching that movie. Um, Paranormal I haven't seen in a long time. I'm assuming it's still really creepy. I remember that having some cringe moments, but it's whatever, adds to the charm. Grave Encounters I've never seen, but I've seen a bunch of clips and the clips I've seen were fine. Like it looked like great practical effects, but I wasn't ever scared. So, um, Australian film of a girl that goes missing in a lake. Uh, I didn't ask for the premise. I would like to go in, like to go in blind. They uh, all have somebody, even if they say they don't, it's behind the scenes theater. Sure, 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 sure. Nick, if you're still here and you haven't um, died of hypothermia, chime in and let us know if you, have, if you have a moderator. Nick was here before. Nick says boo, jumped into the chat early on. Oh my gosh, Red Dragon did, did do the story much better, but the shooting style of Manhunter is gorgeous. Okay, fine. Someday I'll watch it. Um, the House is October Bill, creepy movie. I've heard of that one. She, uh, anyway, my inner theater nerd came out. We all have an inner theater nerd. Oh, hi, Daniel, by the way. I'm sorry, I put your, your thing up and I read it and I didn't say hi. Um, but we don't speak of, it made me watch Paranormal Activity. It sucked like she does. Ugh. Sorry. Um, I liked the first one. Well, so Moses, so back in the long, long ago, when they first released that movie, it was limited, um, limited release. I think only six theaters in the country had it. And one of them was at uh in Orlando, Florida, at like Universal Studios. And Moses and I were there at that time, and we actually got to the park, not realizing the park didn't open yet. So we're like, well, what do we do? Like, we have to wait till the park opens. We walked around, we're like, oh, there's a movie theater oh, cool, I've heard of this movie, kind of, I think. Like, maybe we'll watch it. Terrifying. Um, then they, I forgot how they did it. There was, like, something you had to do when you saw it that your name was attached to it. Like, if you saw it in one of those six theaters, your name was put in the credits. So, like, our names are in the credits at the very end. Um, and so I was like, that's cool. Like, this was like this was an experience. Like, we, had, we hadn't had any good found footage movies in a long time. Like, they that genre had died. So... I loved that. The second movie, I liked the idea of the security cameras, but I, at the end of the day, I didn't like the second one. I remember the third being really scary, but I don't remember how or why I don't remember the third movie. Uh, Grave Encounters isn't super scary, but it's got a good sense of humor. Um, that's interesting. Oh, Nick says boo. <laughs> why? Because he's dead. Um, where is... Sorry, I'm surfing the web, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I crap, I forgot why I did this. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted to change something. Your videos. I'm like editing my stuff as I'm doing it. Like as we're live. Yes. Pew, pew, pew. Where am I? There I am. Ugh, sorry guys. Um fascinating. Sorry, I wanted to I forgot to change a certain feature. My my ADHD, I was gonna not change it otherwise. Did the chat die? My feed for the chat has been frozen or stopped, stalled for around three minutes now. I just noticed that um that some of the things stopped, but I only for a couple seconds. I don't think that anything did any ads pop up, maybe? Where's the threes company thing? <laughs> I don't remember how that, that goes. <gasps> Go get your Chinese food. Blockbusted videos. Congratulations on your, your adulting today. Um, Blockbusted has a um, like a real grown-up job. I did some real grown-up stuff today. So congratulations. Um, you deserve that Chinese food, girl. Oh, we have Chinese food too. Yes. I'm not going to get to eat till like 10, 30, 11 o'clock tonight. By the time we're going to finish here, I'm going to jump right on to filming with Check the Candy. You don't eat while I'm talking to them. That's not going to happen. Oh, I'm just glad they didn't do the found footage Friday the 13th film like they talked about. Oh, I don't remember that. I, hmm. I, no, this is the thing. I don't hate that idea, but they wouldn't do it well. They won't execute that well. So I'm glad they didn't either because there's no way that they would actually give us a good found footage Friday the 13th movie. Um, Kamenaga Maduro. See, that's what I thought it was, but I was like, that's not it. God, what a big dummy. Um, you hum it all the time. Yeah, so I... Oh, Moses is messing with the lights. This is technically, this This is a, I still have no ring light. So this is a hue light from downstairs, but it's connected to our living room. So when he says like, hey, her name, I won't say, um, turn you know the living room lights to 50%, this technically goes, I don't mind this. This is nice. It's, it was blaring and um, hurting my eyes before. General Sows. Uh, we got that, and then we got the golden fingers, and then we got some, I think General Sal's shrimp or some kind of shrimp situation. My stomach just made, made a sound. And then um, I get white rice because I'm a Caucasian, and then he gets the fried rice, and then he gives me a little bit of his fried rice. Because I love the fried rice, but I also like the white rice. Um, taking of Deborah, Deborah Logan, seriously top tier creepy. It's going to be on the, it's going to be on the poll. Gosh, I'm so sorry. I have to say the word Patreon again. If you want to vote for what movies I watch, join the lowest tier on Patreon. So all of my polls are going to be on Patreon going forward. So I'll, like, what movie should I watch this week or next week or next month? Which one of these are you most excited for? When it says, what are you most excited for? That usually means I have those reactions ready to go. And I'm going to post the one first that you all vote for. Or I really don't know what I want to watch. And if you're all like, listen, like, it's it's... Everyone wants this movie. That's the one I'm going to watch. So, um, Patreon. I'm oh, sorry. But, yeah. So, that that's the lowest tier on um, Patreon. It's not even a low tier. That's great. You literally have control over what I do or don't watch. And I do. Sometimes, sometimes I have my own thing I want to watch. Like, I want to watch Quarantine again on this channel. I want to watch the surprise movie I'm not going to tell you guys about. Um, I want to watch VHS. But I, I wasn't going to watch Creep. That was a Patreon thing. Um, these movies you guys are recommending now, I'll put them in a poll on Patreon, and then someone's going to, um, you know, you guys will, will vote. AKA gatekeeping. He just called y'all cheap. Join my lowest tier. It's, it's funny because I just said lowest tier, and I'm like, that sounds like not nice. It's not what I meant, but thank you for taking my words um, that already don't make sense and then spinning them to be even more negative. I appreciate you. I feel like I'm caught up on this chat. That's good. Oh my gosh. I, um, yeah, I'll say found footage is not a genre. I like, I seek out, like that's not a, uh, a sub genre that if, if there's like a new one announced, I'm like, Oh, I gotta see that. Oh, what's this? We didn't work on that sales language. Thank you. You know what? If I worked in sales, I should know, I would know what to say. Right. 
not Resident Evil S tier. <laughs> no, it's not. I guess like a B. Um, you fuck with Final Footage for real? Excuse my language. Um, I was going to say, this might get like blocked for bad language, but I swear on my videos all the time. But it's funny. Uh, was it last, last live or the live before? Um, someone... Oh, was it Esteban? Was it you that had the um, the movie collection and was showing it to us? And I was like, "Ooh, let me not play this with sound anymore because it's going to get like tagged and copyright striked. And it did. The live actually got all I did was just turn off like the monetization and, and stuff. And so it's fine. Like nothing happened. Nothing bad happens. But um, it was like four seconds of music. And of the whole like two and a half hour live, they picked up on those few seconds of music. YouTube is weird, but I can say F this and F that in my videos. And they're like, that's fine. So, um, what's the last found footage movie I watched besides, I mean, I, I just watched creep. I just told you guys I watched creep and that'll end up, that'll be on online in like a week or two. Oh, you know what? I, I feel like I want to watch again is as above. So below is that what's called as yeah. As above. So below, I remember watching it when it first came out and I think, I think I liked it, but I don't remember. It had that dark haired guy from the Friday the 13th remake, but I, I don't, I don't remember anything about it. I think it's like one of those weird things where like at the end they think they got away, but they didn't, unless I'm just making that up. Um, that guy was stupid for sitting on the park bench at the end of creep. I'm going to remove that comment in case anyone hasn't seen it. But the thing is I was so frustrated by that part. Not frustrated. I wasn't like mad at the movie, but I was like, what the hell are you doing? But then, um, I, you know what? I'm sorry. If I hope this doesn't spoil anything. If you haven't seen Creep, turn off for a couple seconds. Uh, just hit mute. So um, when he doesn't turn around, I was getting so annoyed. And then, because the guy gives him like 10 years, right? So he like walks up behind him and stuff. But when um, the camera turned and he's like, why didn't you turn around? Like the killer was saying to us the audience to aaron why didn't you turn around like if you were looking for me i was like okay the movie is playing with my emotions and i liked that i liked that it, it did it in a smart way um Jared, no um the the guy in the opening of the friday 13th remake who gets like the axe to the face he's like doing his girlfriend or something and then she gets like it's in the opening scene um, she gets like hung upside down in the fire or something. And he gets like an ax to his face. That guy is in as above. So below he's like the main guy in that movie. Um, it's very attractive. Uh, I don't remember what else he did besides that though. Esteban was the movie collection. I still watch, uh, that video and drool. Yeah. That movie collection was crazy. Uh, speaking of cheek, cheek, cheap Hamilton book, um, has some last chance arrow titles for cheap. Oh my God. Deadly games for $10. Oh my gosh. Fun fact, I have run out of money. This is not me begging for money, right? But I, um, I've um, i been on like a like a thrifting spree. I'm like, I want more things for giveaways. I've got actually piles of stuff over here. I'll show you, I have some stuff to announce in a little bit. Um, and I'll show you some of the stuff I got because it's actually for you all. It's uh, for giveaways and raffles and trivia and stuff. But I kind of went ham. I also got myself... Uh, a couple shirts. <laughs> Blockbuster Video was commenting because I sent him a picture of me watching Creep. And he was like, is that your thrift shirt find? And I was like, yes, it is. So um, I've been like thrifting and goodwilling and stuff because, you know, we're balling on a budget. I, 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 you know, quantity over quality for me. Although a lot of the things I've been buying, I think, are like top tier tapes and clothes and things. Because I don't, I don't buy clothes for myself. I, um, unless it's this kind of stuff, I love buying these things, but like clothes to wear, like in public, I don't buy for myself. Um, and all of a sudden I, uh, looked at my account and I didn't have enough for my car payment and my car payment was due like in two days. So I had to have money transferred. It was like a whole thing. I already had emptied my savings account because of Christmas. So it's been like a little bit of a struggle, but I keep seeing stuff that I want like sales and stuff. I actually uh, talked to someone on Instagram and he will send me, he's like, Oh, look at this. Look at this half off this half off era. Barnes and Noble has steel books and stuff. I'm like, well, I'm like, I can't la 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 la. You know, I don't get paid again for like a week and a half. So, um, I don't even know what Hamilton books is. 
is that online or is it like an actual store? Because we don't have those here. Uh, whatever that is. Um, she only talks to people when she's broke. <laughs> You're mean, Leo. Say nice things or I'm not going to go to Vegas. Uh, all aboard the struggle bus. Hong <laughs> Kong. Help me, I'm poor. Oh, it's online. Okay, Hamilton Books is online. I've never heard of it. I'm, I Remind me in two weeks when I have money. Even though I have that trip to Vegas coming up, which is paid for by work, mostly. But I'm actually... Crap, I owe Carla money. I'm going a day early, and a colleague and I are getting like a cheap like hotel the night before. And then... Um, <laughs> It's like not funny, but it is. <laughs> Thank you. I needed that. Um, so that's, I mean, that's like what, 30 bucks? Like, I guess the hotels are really cheap there. I was like, I don't think I can afford to go early, whatever. He's like, girl, I got you. And he's like, it's $67 for the room. And I was like, is it like got a dead body in it? And he sends like a picture. He's like, no, like the, the rooms are cheap there. I'm like, cool. That a couple nights are paid for by the company. And then, um, Two more nights, we're doing our own hotel again, and I think it's a, a little nicer of a hotel, but he was like, I'll tell you how much you owe in this and that, whatever, and it's going to be like another, like maybe two, three hundred dollars, but I'm like, and we, we're, we're I, I think we're going to like a VIP, Carlo knows people, a friend of mine that works for my company, whenever we have these like collective gatherings, it's me and Carlo and Julio. And we always like go early, stay late. And Carlo always knows someone everywhere. So he actually got us like a VIP area at like a high end bar club situation or something. Um, and so I think it's already paid for. And I really hope so, because like, I'm not going to have that kind of money, but I want to bring money with me to go thrift shopping because I know there's a really good place in Vegas um, that has like tapes and stuff. I'm going to go to Blockbusted. We and Adam, we went there. Um, the thrifting mall of America. I'm going to go there. They got some cheap stuff. Cubby holes. The struggle bus is actually just a cardboard box with wheels drawn on it. It is. Oh, Leo, thank you. And it's a super sticker that I can't see. Can I look at it? Oh, I can watch it right here. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. How do I watch my own video? Where do you, where do you go? Your channel. Live chat yay it says number one thank you <laughs> thanks uh let me it's where i can i'm the other screen has what i'm the other screen has youtube pulled up so that i could see that sticker just now and there is like a 10 second delay that 199 it did. Do you know how much my car payment is? Anybody see Poughkeepsie tapes? Traumatize David. Oh, so no, but that's going to be on the, you guys can vote for that if you want me to um, to watch that one. A couple people have said Poughkeepsie tapes tonight. Just gave you a $2 bill, you owe. <laughs> Thanks, child. Uh, they got the Robocop steelbook. I've never seen Robocop. Don't hate me. Uh, I tried to have you stay with me, but no, she want to be, can't say bougie. Um, let me see. It's too much for me. It's oh, crazy. This Poughkeepsie tapes thing. Start selling feet pics. <laughs> Everyone keeps saying that. Like people at work are like, okay, I guess like they're like, oh, my rent is due. Got to sell the feet pics. I'm like, damn, my feet ain't cute. But I guess it doesn't matter. I could go on like one of those ugly feet sites, you know? I'll be whole throwing money at you like in Pretty Woman, just like this. And she's closing my hand in the thing. <laughs> Literally almost title 3000. I heard about that. How dark the whole original premise was going to lean way more into her being a whore and him paying her the $3,000. And at the end, they weren't going to stay together. She was going to take the money and leave. I think her pretty mom was supposed to be like hardcore, not a comedy. This would be like still like a romantic something, something, but yeah, dark. Like it was dark. Um, oh, what I just do there. She's going to beg for money. I upped my, here on patreon christian where we're doing are you oh does that mean that you're 
Where are we? Notifications. <gasps> Christian, you are a badass member. Thank you, Christian. That's amazing. Okay, well, I'll bug you later then, because that means you uh, get you get a full movie reaction. You get a movie reaction, and I have to watch it, and then I give you your call out, and then I like talk to you the whole movie. Um, big mistake, really, because I offered her my friend's place, but she's like, no, I want to pay money for a hotel. <laughs> I what I always go when I stay with my my people. When I, I we always go early and stay late. It's our thing. It's like our little our little boys club because. I only see them once a year. Christian said, shut up, James. Yeah, let's not talk about money. Guys, we're talking about found footage stuff. Pretty Woman is metal as fuck. <laughs> it is. It pretty much is. Um, Christian is a badass. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, kids are happy when they let her shop. Me too. It's weird. It, I still... Let me just break this thing. Um, it, it hits every time. It hits every time. And she goes back and she's like, big mistake. Um, I think we're all badasses. Anyone? No? Okay. <laughs> Leo, you were a badass. I mean, we're all badasses here. Yes, Black Busted. I always think of metal when I think of Natalie Cole. <laughs> uh, sounds pretty gay, bro. Don't be such a homophobe. <laughs> Let me be queer. What was that from? It's weird. I think I said that, but I don't remember when I said that. Did I? I haven't seen Rummy Michelle since I was a kid, remember? You didn't gasp first. <laughs> I, you know what? I wouldn't be mad at it. I mean, I probably would actually. I've, I've seen clips and heard that it's just like the most terrible movie ever made, but um, I'm hoping it'd be like a so bad it's good kind of situation. Leo made me maybe watch a movie that he said was bad. He's like, this movie is so bad it's bad. I was like, did you mean so bad it's good? He goes, no. So he made me watch a movie that was like terrible. He knew it was terrible and he told me to watch it. <laughs> that full length is already up, but that won't be a YouTube until like the end of this year. It's a holiday movie anyway, but I'm like, I don't want to revisit that for a while. Um, but he was honest, you know, he was honest about it. F you for not watching Rummy Gay Hate Crime. I haven't seen it since I was a kid. Someone recommends, please, someone suggest that I watch the damn movie. I also, I've noticed that my the comedies don't do well on my my page. That's why I don't watch them as much. But I don't, oh, wait, I don't need to react to it. I just need to freaking turn it on one day. Is there like a steel book for that? I would, I would get a steel book for Romy and Michelle or a 4K. Um, I love Troll 2 passionately. Oh no, someone's going to suggest I watch it. Troll 2 is fun, the documentary about it, better than the movie. Oh, I bet. I love behind the scenes, like, making of anyway. Me, when you come to my friend's house, did you have an awesome time? Did you drink any shooters, listen to awesome music, and then just turn around and soak up each other's awesomeness? Is that from something? I know, Last Night in Soho is coming. There's so many things. I would just have someone in a store for a still above Romeo Michelle. <laughs> I, I mean, hope maybe someday. I feel like 90s things are um it's funny, I pictured mean girls, but I'm like, I can't exactly um is it the mom? Is it the cool mom that says it? Is that Amy Polar line? I I pictured her, but I'm like, I haven't seen mean girls in a long time either. I'm just a bad gay, a bad human being, all of the above. You know, when I was on uh, Check the Candy, I was on their thing. They were like spitting off names of movies and they're like, have you seen this? And I was like, no. How about this one? No. This one? No. Like they can't. I, I was like, I apparently don't know why you guys have me on your channel because I haven't seen a single movie. I've already been canceled five times tonight, Leah. Where you been? It's Janice Ian. Wait, Janice Ian. Is that, um, that's the friend, right? God, I'm dumb. Yes, it's the friend. Okay, so it's the friend. But she was being facetious then. 
Um, just watched Tank Girl for the first time before I came on. I've never seen Tank Girl. I know it's got that um, what's her face from um, A League of Their Own. Uh, Megan watched the films of oh, no. Ugh, I saw that freaking. Do I still own it or did I throw it away? That House of is it House of the Dead? Is that the one that's based on the video game? And it's just really terrible. And I was so excited because it has, um, I was going to say it has Rachel Crothers in it. It has, um, oh no, my dementia brain. Ellie Cornell, Jesus, in it. And I was like, yes. And then they like did nothing with her character. And I was like, oh, but I think her husband like produced it or something. So damn, found footage. Yeah. Uh, you might be shocked at some of the movies I've never seen before. Scott! Boom, boom, boom. I'll be seeing Scott in Vegas as well. Um, hi, Scott. Really? Well, I, I feel like I'm just a fake fan. I'm just a bad person for not seeing all these movies. I've seen all the classics. Like, if if I have never, if I had never seen, like, Conjuring, Insidious, Halloween, like, the movies that, like, everyone goes to YouTube to watch reactions to, then sure, yeah, maybe I'd be blowing up right now. But I'm like, I've seen all those. I haven't seen Slumber Party Massacre 3, though, or Night of the Demons, you know, 14. Um, I'm excited to watch The Initiation, either when I see you or at some point to see the parts that I missed. I watched The Initiation. It was a request, and um, I couldn't find it anywhere. So I actually watched it on YouTube um, and then realized that, like, five minutes of the movie was missing. YouTube cut out all of the gore. So I was like, why am I not seeing any dead bodies? Like, there's no, like, nothing's happening in this movie. It's, I'm enjoying myself, but it's a little weird. And then there was a part where, like, she walks into a bathroom toward the end of the movie. And she's, like, looking at something. And then immediately just cuts. And it's the same angle. But she screams and runs out. And I'm like, I'm like, she looked at someone in the bathroom and it was removed. I'm like, so I all found out it was, like, a redacted version of the movie. So I, I have to still watch the initiation um without the gore cut out we're gonna see mean girls and new nightmare jamesy <laughs> i will watch mean girls house of the dead ellie cornell yes uh let me pay for james to watch that i know i know i know well moses wanted to watch nightmare on street five with me and for two years it hasn't happened so i in march that's on the table, fingers crossed. And, and if he says no or there's no time, then I'm going to just do it because I, I need to finish that franchise. How have I not watched all the Nightmare on Elm Street movies? The reason I watched four was mainly because of Adam, and I'm glad because I love part four. Um, you butchered that line. Excited to watch Suitable Flesh. Oh, heard about that one with Heather Graham. Initiation gores on the calendar for us. Yes. <laughs> uh, wait, you never seen five and six? No, I've only seen on the channel. I've only watched part four. I'm sorry, that's a lie. I watched New Nightmare with my cousins. One of, one of my first reactions ever it was more. It wasn't a reaction; it was a commentary because I'd already seen the movie a hundred times at that point. But she had never seen it, so it's like my second or third reaction ever on the channel is with my cousin, and we watched New Nightmare. I had more hair. I was skinnier. Um, it was great. It was a good time. And then like a year and a half, um, actually almost two years at this point, I watched, wow. I watched, um, a Nightmare on Elm Street four because I'd already seen one, two, three and new nightmare. Those are the only ones I've ever seen. So I watched four and I loved four. Uh, so I was like, great, this is awesome. I'll watch five and six. And Moses was like, when you watch five, watch with me. I, I remember enjoying five and I was younger. And I was like, awesome. And that was two years ago. Uh, I'm going to go through my 80s horror and find some good for you to watch. Please do. I love watching the 80s. Like, I've found a newfound love of, like, 80s and some 90s campy horror, especially slasher movies, like Blood Rage. That was a blast. Never thought I would love freaking Blood Rage or Slumber Party Massacre, uh, Night of the Demons. Like, I had never seen these before, and they are a blast. The 90s is where it's kind of like, oh, not as, not as um, amazing. Chris didn't get away from those other films. Uh, Andale, Andale. <laughs> Chris, Dad. <laughs> what did she say? Take that to your goddamn therapy. Chris, Dad. <laughs> Take my power. 
god that was so stupid i loved it please tell me you've seen death becomes her yes just not in a long time i actually own the either blue is it blu-ray or 4k i own that i've i've seen that a couple times not in a long time but she's like i want to talk about what's her name like madeline something everyone goes ah. yes i've seen that um, I support those who enjoy Number on Street 5 and 6, but for me, it's not worth paying for James to watch them. I'm going to watch them anyway. D please no one waste your vote on that. Those are happening anyway. Absolutely not. I think the, the voting is more for like niche things that I, that wouldn't already be happening. 5 and 6 are definitely going to happen for free. James may be, um, half human, but she's all a woman. That's some um, period. I've seen Prom Night franchise. Yes. Oh, actually. So yes. So Lee. On this, on the channel, I've watched, oh, I didn't watch the first one. Here's my, my long-winded story. Ready? When I started kind of getting back into, um, like, watching older movies I either hadn't seen in a long time or, like, 80s slasher movies that I was like, I feel like I want to watch this. Like, I just want to, I want to, is, is this as fun as everyone says? Prom Night and The Blob were like the first, The Blob remake from the 80s, were like the first two movies I watched. And I was like, these were amazing. These were so fun. And so then like maybe six months later, I finally sat down and I watched Candyman as technically my first like solo first time watching movie reaction. And I might've even said in that commentary, unless I cut it out, like, I wish I had done this for Prom Night and The Blob because it's so, it's so, those movies were so fun. Well, eventually I watched on the channel Prom Night 2. So Hello Mary Lou Prom Night 2 is a reaction that exists on this channel. Um, but I had already seen the remake and I hate the remake and I will never watch that again. Unless someone votes for me too, but I'd rather not. Um yeah, five and six aren't as good, but she needs to finish. Yeah, like those, will, I think I might just do five and six like in one weekend. Boo, you know, boom, boom, pow, get them out there and be done. I own the whole franchise. Like how do I own the franchise and I haven't watched them all? Madeline Ashton, thank you. Um, heart Stop? I don't know, did my heart stop? Prom Night 2, yes, I watched Prom Night 2. I loved it. The second I finished Prom Night 2, I went online and I found a DVD so I could watch it because I don't actually, I have a VCR, but I don't watch tapes on it. I'm looking for like a VCR TV combo situation to put in here. But uh, I found it on DVD and so I could watch it again, like immediately. And then I could watch all the behind the scenes footage, which there was not much, but, and then, um, and I got it on VHS. So I actually have it on tape as well. Cause the tape, I loved both art. The art for the DVD was like the white, it's like a white background and it's just her face, but it's like half white, half blood kind of thing and then uh the vhs is the purple like she's like in the coffin but it's not a coffin it's a locker it's cute it's the cover gives like rl stein uh goosebumps cover vibes have seen prom night the last kiss no i didn't watch because there's part three and four right i don't think there's five it's three and four and then the remake i uh i didn't watch those i had planned on it but i don't think i'll watch them on the channel if something is too niche it it takes me like a whole week to edit it and I post it for kind of no reason, which stinks. Like Nick says Boo says this on his lives a lot, and I'm glad he does because it's a real, it's a real thing. Is if we only watch the stuff we want to watch, we wouldn't have channels, you know? Um, so I haven't watched those. Someday I'll just, you know, pull them up on Tubi or something. I rewatched MLG five last year. Uh, I have to say I agree. I think five holds up better than four. I don't know if five can be better than four because four was four was like fun, gory, scary, clever, all the things, killer soundtrack, but the aesthetic having a is he Russian? Who's the that director? He's the guy who did like Deep Blue Sea, which is funny you mentioned that earlier. And like um what's that movie where they're all like on the glaciers and stuff? Like Sylvester Stallone. He did he's an action movie director. Um that aesthetic and that that different perspective made that movie way more epic than anyone else could have. So I don't know who directed five, but I can't imagine five being cooler than four. Uh, Prom Night three is a comedy and four is a slasher. Oh gosh. Someday. <laughs> See, yeah, no, Adam loves four. So <laughs> nope, I'm staying. Fight, fight, fight. I mean, play nice. 
Uh, did you read my hard candy comment? I'm trying to keep up. Check the candy. It has James in it. Was that the comment? Uh, five has some bomb kills, though. Didn't... Never seen Halloween... I've never seen Halloween Resurrection or Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. I own both. And I've still not seen Halloween Ends. Well, that's great. You Two of those three are some of the worst movies ever made. Well, you have to you have to be a completionist, right? Like if you like the Halloween movies, you have to watch them all. I'm so sorry. Resurrection though is in my bottom five or my top five, I get whatever, of worst movies ever, period. Not Halloween movies, not horror movies, not, not slasher, not, no. Movies. It is a terribly written, acted, edited, executed movie. Just as a movie, they missed the mark in every way. In my opinion, Halloween Resurrection. I get no fun out of that movie. Um, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, um, the director's cut, I actually enjoy. The theatrical cut cuts out all the character development and the character arcs and arguments and, and the good stuff. It's weird. They explain the white horse. There's literally a scene that explains the white horse. And everyone's like, in the theatrical cut, they're like, I don't get it. Well, the director's cut has like one line of dialogue that explains it. So it's stupid. Um, and Halloween ends is good until halfway. And then it's just like, why are we here? Um, Renny Harland. Yes, that's the director. Uh, you need a manager to... Ow publicist vice president ceo to keep up with your communications yeah i'm not i can't if you haven't seen halloween ends it ends is the best part yeah when halloween ends is over uh chef's kiss because that movie was it's weird because that movie was well acted well directed i don't know the aesthetic was good there are some good scares or some good character moments like it's weird because as a movie on its own it it's not terrible, but as the conclusion to a franchise or even just to that trilogy, um, or even just a follow up to the previous movie, it literally ignores all the previous storylines, ignores the character development, ignores the, it, it's just, it's just batshit stupid for no reason. Um, and at the end of the day, it, it's just, okay. Like if I want to watch the, you know, the return if I want to watch Michael and Lori go at it, I'm going to watch Halloween H2O. Period. You hit her movie trigger. <laughs> you did. Uh, it doesn't make you want to watch them. Yeah, sorry. They're, I mean, res the Resurrection, they're just, ugh, God, those, it, I could go off. At one point, someday, I may watch Resurrection on the channel just to, I don't know, I guess have a video that, that everyone can watch with me just like, Full on panicking and screaming the whole time. The last couple times I tried to watch, I think it was like maybe five years ago, I actually sat down and tried to watch Resurrection again. And I only got about 20 to 25 minutes in before I like rage quit and was like, I can't. Like, I'm actually done. I cannot do this. It was that bad. Join Resurrection until the underground scene. And I was grossed out by that whole scene that lasted too long. Is that under the house? When they like find like the bed and stuff, is that under the house? <gasps> Melissa! Melissa's also a badass member. <laughs> Melissa, I did, I watched Repossessed for you. It'll be on the Patreons Monday. It's actually already set to go Monday. So Monday morning, you'll have that full length reaction. Thank you for suggesting that. That was her movie request. Um, how many ends is the horror equivalent of rise of Skywalker. I haven't seen rise of Skywalker, but maybe, um, cause that whole trilogy actually is a very close representation of the first one kind of, that's actually a great example. The first one kind of was like, let's go back to basics and oh, have like lots of homages to the original one. Right. But we're acting as a sequel. That's very Force Awakens. It's very Halloween 2018. The next one was like, let's go big on the action, big on the kills, big on the aesthetic, big on the everything. That's Halloween Kills. And that's, um, what was the second one called? The Jedi something Jedi. What was the second? 
uh, new Star Wars. What was that one called? The Last Jedi. This is the Last Jedi. Very similar. I didn't watch Rise the whatever it was. Um, Rise of Skywalker because by then I was like I'm checked out. Like I don't. I like the originals. I like some of the prequels. I love Rogue One. That's all I need. I don't think I need any more. This is getting to be too much, and um, it's all too silly. But that probably they probably were like, uh-oh, we have to like backpedal. It's going a whole new direction, and I'm assuming that's probably what they do there. Uh, Corey Michael sitting in a tree. <laughs> if you see it, yeah, no, legit. It's weird because I, I, you could have done that differently, and I probably would have been like, oh, but they, they true David Gordon Green fashion, they were like, let's just find the most ridiculous, stupid roundabout way to go there that disrespects the previous storylines and movies. They find a kitchen underground with the dead rodents and he was eating or something. Oh yeah, but that's like a very quick, they walk by and they're like, oh man, was he, there's like a one line of dialogue that they say. They're like, oh, was he down here eating rats? And they like keep it moving. Um, yeah, the movie's just, it's, I also hold the Halloween franchise to a higher standard. So having every character be annoying and badly acted and like the whole movie is like not directed well and it's not scary and it's not interesting. Like it's just, it. I was just shocked and I just can't get past it. Mentally, I thought maybe it's a so bad it's good. And, and again, I tried like five years ago and I just could not do it. I'm um, trying to watch your live. My cat has decided she's going to sit right from my iPad. Um, she wants to watch too and I think that's okay. I approve that message. Star Wars is another franchise I stopped watching after Phantom Menace. I will say, because the, the first trilogy is great, right? We can agree on that. I haven't seen them in a long time, but I just remember being like as a kid, like, wow, these are so cool. Phantom Menace came out, and overall, I don't enjoy the movie, but it has one of the most epic soundtracks and final battles in like any sci-fi movie, especially any Star Wars movie, that whole epic ending, fantastic. Darth Maul, I think we needed more of, and I think he's in some of the shows now. Um, I don't remember enjoying was Attack of the Clones. I remember being, it's very cringe acting and weird and silly. And I was like, this is not it. But um, the, uh, oh gosh, what was the third one called? Why am I blanking? Star Wars episode three. Well, whatever. Star Wars episode episode three is really good. It, it finally... Um, it finally like takes the story where you wanted it to go. There's not, there's no cringe. There, I mean, it's probably some cringe, but it, all the stories finally collide. The ending is a little convoluted with trying to like wrap some stuff up. But besides that, it actually is a good movie. There's like two huge epic fights happening at the same time with that same music from Phantom Menace. Menace, it's good. Um, watch Girls Night, Girls Night Out 1982, Slasher during a college scavenger hunt. That sounds fun. I like that. Okay, time for you to go. <laughs> oh no, I must leave. Okay, I own Girls Night Out. Still haven't seen it. I definitely put it on my list for James Watch, and then I can finally watch it too. There you go. I like that. That is good. Scott, add that to my list, please. Um, Real Adam has the high ground. Why do you have the high ground? Oh, that's a Star Wars reference. Revenge of the Sith. Thank you. You are the chosen one. Um, attack the clones. Yeah, they wasted him. They wasted a lot of things. That whole like battle with it, with the Natalie Portman and they're like in some kind of arena, whatever the hell is happening. That should have been great. And I don't think it was. I remember that movie being a lot of like all story, no action till the end, if I recall. And the story was really like the romance of of Anakin and Padme and blah, 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 and cringe, cringe, cringe. Because Hayden, um, whatever his name was, I don't think had come into his own as being like a good actor yet. Um, I'm glad that he's found success with like, you know, later and he's back playing the role now and, and people are like welcoming. I, I like that. But that was not a, that was not his best acting. It was very like, wah. Like, you're watching a Star Wars, Star Wars movie and they're like, yes, the intergalactic blah, 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 whatever is going to happen and we have to squash the rebellion. And then he shows up and he's like, well, but I want to go make out with Padme. Like that's kind of what um, that movie was to me. Um, I've been wanting to watch Girls. Okay, enough people have said Girls Night Out. I'm putting it on my list. Girls Night Out, 19 Erditor. 
What else? Oh, never mind. Um, no, really, you're out of time. You got a podcast. Well, it's not till um, 8.45. But thank you, Esteban. Watch The Howling 2 for So Bad It's Good. Christopher Lee didn't like the movie. Is Christopher Lee in The Howling 2? I've never seen The Howling. I know how it ends because of that documentary in Search of Darkness. Oops, Melissa, I'm sorry. Howling 2, My Sister is a Werewolf. I feel like I just saw someone on like, um, was it Dice Roland? Was that one of your videos? If they're still on here, I don't know. Someone had posted something that said like, uh, Howling 2, My Sister is a Werewolf. So bad it's good question mark. So, so funny. I was going to text you and say like, girls not out. What do I? So you say it slaps. Uh, definitely personal. Fa I've never even heard of it. I'm excited for that one. Let's enough of you have said girls night out that let's just say that's going to happen. April, maybe March or April girls night out. Definitely happening. Um, would you watch a sequel without watching the original? No, no. I think I, I actually, even on the Patreon, like my badass members, one of the criteria is I won't watch a sequel. I won't watch a request. That's a sequel to a movie. I haven't seen yet. So, um, no, when it comes to remakes, I'm fine with watching the remake for the original in some, in most cases, but when it comes to a sequel, no, I've seen alien and aliens and alien three and resurrection and AVP and AVP Requiem and Prometheus. I haven't seen alien covenant yet. That's coming in May though. I'm going to watch that in May. Cause there's like a, is there like a national alien day? April. I think it's in April, whatever. I, that's on my, my list. Even if you know the Howling ending, it's such a strong, interesting movie. I should watch the Howling. That's I'm not like a werewolf vampire kind of movie goer, but I will watch those. I'll watch that at some point. Uh, oh my God. Sorry, I'm, I'm like pulling up my Instagram just so that if we run a little bit over because I'm having a blast talking to you guys, I can just be like, hey guys, and still bounce over with like a minute to spare. Um, for the podcast. E ooh, ooh, Brian, I'm sorry. There you are. James, I recommend you watch From a Whisper to a Scream. I've heard of that because that's a song from the movie Scream. Should I, everyone, how is From a Whisper to a Scream? Is that song in it? It better be. Oh my God, this list is so long. Uh, Blockbusted videos usually knows what I will and won't like. So if it's not like a specific request, it's just something I decide like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch. I'll usually run it by him. He's only been, he's, he's only misled me like once or twice. And not his fault because the movies he's, that he's suggested are very similar to other movies I said I loved, you know? And for some reason, I just, maybe I was having a bad day. Um, if anyone has seen my full length reaction to Warlock, that was kind of uh, one of them. I felt bad that I did not love that as much as uh, I was told I would. And well, Creation is an example of a sequel. I will tell people to watch instead of the original. Ooh, that's a good example of watching a sequel instead of uh, an original. That is a good example because Annabelle Creation is really good and super scary. And that first one is, well, that's the thing. The first one's not, but the ending of Annabelle Creation is like a, like a punch to the throat of a twist when you've seen the first one. So I feel like you'd still have to see the first one to really appreciate that ending. Cause I was like, this movie is great. But then the ending, I was like, shut the hell up. So I love Dee Wallace. She's in something, what is it? That, um, what's that movie with Shelley Duvall? Shelley Duvall is like making her acting come back. And Dee Wallace is in the movie too. Something about the woods, something in the woods. Original Howling with Dee Wallace is great. Um, I've seen it, I thought it was great. It's really spotty. It's an anthology, and it's both gross and vicious and dark. What is? Oh, the whisper. Scream to a whisper. Whisper to a scream. Got you. Thank you. Um, we're all actually interested in the movie. Not my cup of tea, even though I saw the others as well. Yeah, I um, I don't know what I was expecting. Fantasy films are weird with me. I don't enjoy. I mean, that's also that's kind of on the same page with like vampire, werewolf, fantasy films. I don't enjoy those usually. I liked. I actually loved. Ginger Snaps, that was like an exception, but that's because it it was like this really cool gothic teen horror slasher movie that was also a werewolf movie. You know, like that was the vibe I got. Um, 
Warlock, I think, was like more of a fantasy action comedy. I don't think it knew what it was trying to be. And I can imagine if I had watched it when I was young, I probably would have loved I would love Warlock. Because it has like that, that it's 89, came out in 1989, but it has like that early 90s straight to video quality to it where it's kind of trying to be like five different genres at once. In my old age, I just didn't, I didn't. Derek. Hmm. Remind me that you said that, please. From Whisper to a Scream is an anthology film that looks great. I've never seen it, but okay. Well, I don't know the cast. Don't tell me. Helling Two Credits is the only reason anyone really watched that. It was always on USA during the 80s. The credits? What happens in the credits? Oh, yes. Classic. Don't know. I don't know. Ginger Snaps is probably one of the, my favorite werewolf movies. Yeah, no, me too. Uh, I don't have a lot of favorite werewolf movies. Not my vibe. Not not into it. I almost I didn't want to watch that. That was just one that I kept putting out there. People kept saying Ginger Snaps, Ginger Snaps, Ginger Snaps. And I was like, fine, I'll watch it. And I was not disappointed. I was shocked and surprised. But that's also a movie that, besides being like a slasher horror movie that happens to also be a werewolf movie, it knew how to be funny and not deflect from the horror at the same time. Like sometimes these movies try to like add humor, but they don't know how to do that and balance the scares. And so you're just kind of like, what am I watching? I actually can't believe Blockbust did. Never saw from Whisper. Um, it's also called The Offspring. I feel like I've heard of a movie called The Offspring. Have I seen a poster for it maybe and didn't didn't know? But I'm shocked too. I'm sure I'm sure he owns it. He probably owns the movie and just hasn't seen it. American Werewolf in London has some sick shifting scenes. Oh, I've seen those because of that documentary. Uh that guy, the main character in that I think lives in Connecticut or used to live in Connecticut. He was at CT Horror Fest. A couple of years ago, I didn't meet him because I hadn't seen the movies. I was there for Daniel Harris. That was the year Daniel Harris Harris was there with Don Shanks, and those are the two people I I went to see, and the cast of Saw. Thank God for CT Horror Fest. I don't. I mean, just thank you. Um, let me see. Hemlock Grove did werewolves really well. Never saw that. There was a show that was called like The Gates, or the I think it was called The Gates. That was like a rich. There's like a rich entitled neighborhood in the gates and whatever, and they have secrets and what an and elite, but it turns out that there's like monsters or vampires or killers or something like that living in there. And I was like, it was very interesting. It was good, but it got canceled. I have to take off James. Christian, I'll figure out uh, what to make you watch and message you later on. Thank you, Christian, so much. I'm excited for whatever you tell me to watch. Bye, Christian. Let's see, I'm behind. I hope you didn't already leave. Everyone's saying goodbye. We all love Christian. Stop watching those docs. I Well, I haven't. That's only one documentary that I watched that ruined all of the movies. Um, it was a great documentary, but it, it it told me the ending of a lot of movies. So it's called In Search of Darkness. So if you, the thing is when they released it, it was, it was advertised as like this vague, like we're going to talk about scary movies from the 80s. And I was like, that's cool. And, you know, great. But, um, they end up they don't go deep into most of the movies but the stuff that they talk about they're like oh yeah halloween four blah 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 blah, and then they show the ending like they kind of show the ending of almost every movie that they talk about so i should have stopped watching but i was just entranced and i kept watching which was stupid um but they showed all the transformation scenes from like the werewolf movies and stuff i was like oh these look cool but i mean i'm not gonna watch those movies anyway uh but i haven't seen i haven't watched since then I own it. I'm going to stop watching trailers too. I don't anymore. I don't even do the trailer reactions anymore. Like there are trailers coming out that I'm like, oh, that looks good. I'll watch that trailer. And I just don't. I don't think I'm going to, you know, I, I, if I had more time, if I didn't work 40 hours a week, or if I worked 40 hours a week and had three days off, maybe I'd have time, but I don't. I love Clue. Is Zach here? Zach was here earlier. And I have been, because there's a 4K release of Clue, and um, I wanted it, I wanted it, I wanted it, and I put it on my, like, wish list, and finally I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get it for myself. I want it that bad. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. 
so I bought it. Zach had gotten it and he was like, tell me it's great. I got it. It looks beautiful. The, the quality is fantastic. I personally offended that you refuse to watch American Werewolf. Well, you know what? Stay offended. And um, yes, Clue is bomb. So yes, I've seen it many, 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 many times. And I have the 4K. And yeah, Clue is not a guilty pleasure. That is a Deborah Hill production. That stars Tim Curry. That stars, uh, um, I forgot her first name, Warren. What's her first name again? Dementia Brain. A dedicated horror fan. I wouldn't be okay without American Werewolf in London. Oh. Someone tell me to watch it then and I will watch it. I mean, it's probably great. The thing is, ugh, this freaking documentary shows a bunch of like funny moments with like his dead friend following him. And I'm like, imagine if I didn't know that was going to happen. I'm, I'm sorry I watched a documentary one time five years ago that ruined all these movies. But blame them because now there's like when you buy the movies, there's like a list. And it says, like, make sure you watch these movies first. But that didn't exist when they first launched the documentary. They even launched a sequel to the documentary that didn't have a list. And they launched a third. And I didn't buy the third. I have not seen the third. I did not buy the third. And I was like, stay away from the third. Because I'm like, I can't keep having these movies ruined. Now they give you a list that says, like, make sure you watch these movies first. They probably got complaints. But blame them. Please. Respectfully. American Melworth is amazing for the story and effects. I still could take it or leave it. Clue has some of the best physical comedy and comedy and films. It is so, and that flames part was improvised. So I guess there's like a few moments in the movie that they said were improvised, but everything else was pretty much like from the script. But that was one of the times that Madeline, she said like, I have a, I have a bit I think I could do. And then they filmed it and they were like, this is comedic gold. And so they kept it. And that was all her. Um, Michael, Madeline Kahn. Yes. Is it, it's not, is it Le Leslie Ann Warren? That's her name. No one said it, right? I guessed it on my own. Yes. It was Leslie Ann Warren. That's the person. That's the one I'm thinking of. The thought they are thinking of remaking Clue Nausea. It's me. Yeah. I would not like a remake. Give us, give us a sequel. Like give us a Halloween 2018 with Clue, you know, or give us a Clue movie that is, has nothing to do with being a comedy and is a full on whodunit you know, with like fun elements, but like, don't go full comedy then. I don't know. Cause you can't, how can you do that? You can't redo that. Um, did you watch silver bullet? Because black, I have seen, I saw silver bullet. Actually this, I've told this story to Blockbusted before. When I was a kid, there was a movie that I watched where a bunch of adults all go out looking for like a werewolf and all the adults like get slaughtered and die. And as a kid, I was like, this is too scary. I don't want to watch it. And I, but I watched it cause I was with like older kids who made me. And then years and years and years and years later, I found out that movie was Silver Bullet. So a couple of years ago, I was like, you know what? That movie scared me so bad as a kid, just like The Blob did. And I found The Blob and rewatched The Blob and I was like, this is terrifying. So if The Blob scared me then and now, maybe Silver Bullet also, because it scared me then, will scare me now. Well, I got like 20 minutes into rewatching it a couple of years ago and I was like, I don't think this is scary. This is kind of like, man, like this is mid. And I didn't finish. And he was like, shut up and watch it. And I have not finished. So I actually someday have to sit and watch Silver Bullet again because it did really scare me as a kid. Um, I think because most movies that I was watching were like teens or kids or whatever were being, like usually teenagers are in camp and, and slasher or whatever. And in that one, it's a kid at at the helm. Was it Corey? Corey Hain? Corey whatever. And... Um, and you usually think that the adults are there to protect you and the adults all died. And so I was like, um, I don't know what happens now. And that scared me. Ginger Snaps, The Company of Wolves, American Werewolf, Dog Soldiers. Dog Soldiers, I've heard, is good. Um, and where are some of my favorite werewolf movies? Where is another found footage? Oh, okay, so it's found footage and it's werewolf. I like that. I used to hate Silver Bullet, but I love it now. It's, um, I mean, Stephen King, right? based on a Stephen King situation. Wolf cop. That is a sub, like there's a sub genre that I want to get into someday of like when they just take two different nouns and smush them together and that's the movie. Like I plan on watching at some point with, with Blockbusted, we're going to watch, um, what is it? Oh, the Invisible Maniac. That's not even that's not even two nouns. That's like an adjective. 
and a noun, but the, you know, when it's like wolf cop, shark NATO, I'd ever watch those, but like, or shark to puss or sharks of the corn. Like, isn't that like a thing too? Um, recommend James, everybody raising cane, 1992 body double, 1984 blowout, 1981 dress to kill 1980. Cold Prey 2006, Cold Prey 2008, Cold Prey 3, oh my god, Unearth 2020, Better Watch Out 2016. No, I watched Better Watch Out 2016, and I will never watch that movie again. That's on my channel. If you want to watch me want to rage quit a movie, watch my reaction from like, it was like two months ago. Not even. It was last month in December. I watched um, Better Watch Out. <sighs> And I hope to never watch that again. The others, though, I've heard Dress to Kill is good. There's a Michael Caine in it. Um, Sharknado. Sharknado. Vel yes, Velocipaster. Like that kind of stuff. <laughs> Someday. 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 Things are going to get easier. Sorry, I'm asking for the invite link link for um the podcast. Uh, Taurus Trap, 1979. Creepy Mannequins. Creepy Mannequins. Killer Sofa. Oh, I also love when they make inanimate objects killers. There's a movie called Rubber, right? I think it's called Rubber. It's like a tire that kills people. I wanted to watch that, but I never did. Uh, were you there in the pandemic when we watched that movie about a killer sofa? No. Is that why Blockbusted is saying? I never did any of the watch, the watch things that you guys were doing. I wasn't invited to those. Um, really liked Killer Sofa. Or actually, I think if and if I was, because there was one or two times I think you guys were like, do you want to watch a movie? It was like two o'clock in the morning when you guys would start watching the movie. A ASMR. Oh, is that what I was <laughs> the typing? Um, no ASMR. You're uninvited. This is what Adam and I do. Usually someone will say something and we immediately know of a song that relates and we'll both start singing at the same time or he'll start and I'll finish or vice versa. Mm. You know, we have ESPN too. Oh my gosh. I love how we didn't talk about found footage films almost at all. Any other ones I should put on my list for found footage February? Oh my gosh, there were so many things I wanted to, to mention too. Uh, found footage February. So we're dedicating February to found footage films. And tongue twister. And then one surprise movie that's not found footage that'll that'll pop up when I'm in Vegas. Another thing, I'll be in Vegas for like a whole week. I'm I'm gonna meet Leo. I'm hanging out with Scott again. I've already met Scott a couple times. Um, we're gonna watch spooky movies and like eat food and hopefully do un Vegas things because I don't Vegas is gross. Like, no, I mean, like, the strip is gross. I mean, like, I've already seen it. I went there. I did the thing. I'm done. I don't need to, I don't need to do that, experience that ever again. Although I think, I think when I said, like, we have, like, a VIP club situation, I'm pretty sure Carlo got us a hotel right on the strip because our night out that we have planned with everyone is right on the strip. So that's going to be whatever. But um, I already announced the new Patreon tiers. I'm so sorry I keep saying the word Patreon, but it's what it is. Uh... So there's a super cheap one that's a dollar fifty that you guys tell me you guys tell me what to watch. I I love that. I want I I need your feedback. I can't do this without you. Then there's uh, the next one up where you get to watch all the full length movies and you get the early access to the videos. And there's the next next one up which is like Christian is one of those now. Uh, Melissa was one of those and and you get to tell me what movie to watch and I have to watch it. And that's a limited. There's only like four or five spots a month for that. And then there's a new one. The new one is only going to be like one person a month, one person a season, really, because it's a movie request. I have to watch the movie. It is a watch along request. So we will watch a movie together here live. Uh, 
that's requested by that person. And it's a movie trailer request, meaning I will make a modern trailer for a movie that you want me to do. The thing is that takes me several months to do. So when someone takes that tier, I'm immediately taking that like tier away. Um, and then waiting, you know, a couple months to, to repost it. Cause damn. And then, um, the next live that we do is the next live or is it the live after? Cause February is already almost here. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. Next weekend or whatever we'll do. We'll probably go live again. The weekend after on February 9th, Blockbusted videos and I are going to do another, uh, trivia night. So we had, I had a lot of fun. We had a great time doing the trivia, the holiday horror trivia. We're on here for like two and a half hours. Y'all were answering questions uh, about holiday horror movies. And then there were four winners and we sent out prizes and stuff. Leo won a poster. Um, Lego won some stuff. I think Yasmin, who's not here, she won some stuff. Um, it was cute. Like a, there's a bunch of winners. So we're going to do that again, but with Valentine's Day. Like, um, you know, I love you so much I could kill you. That's kind of the vibe we're going to go with. So I will show off just some of the prizes. I'm not going to show off everything. I will say these are part of a prize. There's actually more to this prize because um, these are kind of like I love you so much I could kill you movies. We've got some, like, Bride of Chucky, um, you know, Fatal Attraction, High Tension. We've got My Bloody Valentine. We've got um, freaking Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. We have things. Like, we have, there are lots of prizes. So, ooh, I hope y'all are ready. That's going to be on February 9th. And that's going to be at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'll post, like, my little thing um, to tell you all about that. And let me catch up on the comments before. A little bit of watch out. I was crushed. James hated it so much. I'm sorry. Um, the kid was just so annoying. And I, I don't know why. I just don't know. He was just so annoying. I was getting so frustrated. I think I just don't like kids, period. I know I don't like kids, but kids in movies too, because it gave me similar vibes to like Eden Lake, where like this, the like these kids are going to get away with this, like aren't they? Like I don't want these kids to get away with this. Like these kids need to be punished. Where are your parents? But the parents in that movie were worse. Um, I always recommend House, nineteen eighty six, to people who liked Tremors. Oh, I didn't. I've heard of House. It has that's one that has the the hand ringing the doorbell. It's like a writer who goes to a house to write a book or something, and then like there's like a general ghost. I don't know. Um, the documentary ruined some stuff. I'm just glad you didn't hate Saltburn. I did not hate Saltburn. I will, oh, I'm sorry, right now on Patreon, because at 8.45 it was already set to load, to upload. So right now my Saltburn full reaction is already posted. In true James fashion, the movie, there's technical difficulties throughout, but there's a timer, so you can stay with me. Uh, the movie stopped playing three times. So in the middle of me watching it, it just stopped. But the timer, I went and I edited it. So the timer stops when the movie stops and then i did a countdown to start again it, it's very you'll be fine um i will say i was also very tired when i filmed that and my face looks tired yeah thumbs up thank you and i actually had to chop out some of the opening because it just i at one, one point i was just staring at the wall like but that movie i posted a review today so i actually posted a whole separate video that's a review of the movie uh, the full reaction is up now on the Pertrons, and then next week, the YouTube reaction will be up. Um, that movie was something else. Let me see. Only thing I remember about House, but I think it's House 2 is the pizza scene. Never saw any of the sequels. All I know is House 2, the second story, because of Scream 2. Um, House 4 has the pizza scene. Adam, you love Part 4. So do I. Evil Things, 2009. Uh, college kids followed by a creepy van. Well, I was a child, but I will never forget. Um, oh, yeah, I was in my 20s when I saw... Okay, yeah, I haven't seen... I haven't seen this movie. Um, glad for your honest reaction. Different strokes, etc. Yeah, I and I feel I feel bad because I'm literally... You, so a person is like, please watch this movie. And I'm like, yes, I will. And then I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh, my God, why is this happening? And that's unkind, you know, that's, that's not nice, but that's kind of my brain. 
like the words are already coming out and I can't hide my facial expressions, I guess. So I'm already looking annoyed before I'm even thinking, oh, you shouldn't look annoyed. Um, I'll admit also when Repossessed comes out, wasn't a huge fan. I'm so sorry, Melissa, if you're still on here. Was not a huge fan of that. Am I glad I watched it? Yes, because it's a movie that I've heard about multiple times. Um, Warlock has been recommended to me many times, so I'm fine with having watched it, even if I didn't love it. Uh, Nick says, boo says, don't yuck somebody else's yum. And I agree with that. So um, let me see. Summer of 84 has kids in it, but I actually enjoyed it. Summer of 84. That sounds familiar. Alana Parker also is not having her bed. Yes, I was glad. I watched her reaction and she was like, these damn kids. Like, uh, it, it, I, that's the thing is when I watch reaction, I kind of want them to have the same reaction that I had. Like, is that just me or is that kind of everybody else? So usually you don't watch people's reactions to movies that you don't like. Like I don't seek out movie reactions to Halloween Resurrection because I do not enjoy that movie. I'll seek out reactions to every other Halloween movie mostly because I like those movies. So to watch, to be like, I'm going to watch H2O, like somebody watch H2O and then they, they hate it. I'm kind of like, oh, okay. Um, but like I watched the reason I actually got into watching, uh, just, just trust Ash, sorry. Um, as a YouTube reactor, he and his girlfriend, they're hysterical and like, they're, they're great, but they watched man on fire and I loved their reaction to that. And then I saw somebody else watch it and they bawled their eyes out. I was like, this is great. Like you, you kind of want people to have the same reaction that you have. Oh, I'm sorry, Melissa. But I mean, that's not like I was like, oh my God, this is terrible. But like. I, I, I laughed for sure. And it's very interesting. And I love the meta approach. It's kind of, it's like an ingenious, it's a genius idea to do. Um, so I hope you still enjoy the reaction, but that'll go up Monday. But I have, let me see, I have nine minutes to jump on the podcast. Let me see. The thing is sometimes they're late. You guys want to listen? This is, they sent me an audio message. No period. Okay. No, no. What did John say? There you go. See? I gotta check my email. Uh, um. Mail. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh. Okay, so let's see. I love watching people who are enthused about things, even if I don't love them. They often provide insight I wouldn't have considered. Well, thank you. I'm glad you... I, I've had people say that they've watched my reactions to movies that I didn't like and say they had a blast watching the reaction. So I'm glad, you know. Uh, this is where we have people reacting to the same movies on YouTube. What are the odds of 12 angry men being reacted to at the same... Well, a lot of them talk to each other. So a lot of them are friendly. I, I thought I was getting into the... I think I'm trying to like baby step my way in there because I was talking to Yutaka on um, the horror hour and that's how I was able to be on his live. Like I was on live with him one time. That's how I started. Uh, actually, because of Melissa and Yasmin, Yasmin's not here. Um, I got to start talking to um, like Nick says boo and stuff because like this time a year ago, they were on a live and someone, and Melissa and um, Yasmin said, uh, do you know Shut Up James? And they both said no. And I actually took that clip and I put it in one of my videos. I thought it was so funny. I'm like, they have no idea who I am and then they shouldn't. And I think that's hilarious. Now I will talk to Nick sometimes. I don't talk to David. I'm scared. I haven't reached out. Um, I was scared to even talk to Nick. I was scared to talk to the horror hour. I was scared to talk to any of these people because they're all like bigger and cooler. Um, and at the top of them all is Alanda and she's sitting on this beautiful pedestal. And I don't think she even ever put herself on the pedestal, but she that's where she belongs. And we all look up to her so much. And um, so that's how I, I got to like starting to talk to some of them, but they kind of all, they talk more, like they text and talk to each other and like they hang out, you know? And so they kind of will jump on each other's schedules and like, oh, I'm gonna watch this, you should watch it too. And it's smart because if someone watches Alanda and uh, you know, they're gonna get recommended, Nick says, boo, they're gonna get recommended, David, they're gonna get recommended, you know, uh, J meets world. You know, so smart. Makes sense. Is the podcast live or recorded? It is recorded. So we will be recording tonight. It probably won't get posted till uh, next weekend. Like the episode, the link down below that I 
uh, posted. We filmed, I think that got posted last week, but we filmed it two weeks ago. So, uh, and that's on their podcast called Check the Handy. They, they also do, I think they're also streaming on like podcast apps. Like it's not just video. You can just listen to it. Got to go take that. Goodbye, Melissa. Thank you so much. Bye. I'll be leaving in a second anyway, too. Um, I generally want to see positive reactions to my favorite movies versus a reaction where the reactor is like, this movie sucked. Yeah. I, yeah. It, it's 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 difficult for me to, to hide my face. So usually I'll try to do it in editing. So I'm, I'll be editing and I try to remove a lot of the negative stuff. Um, like that would have been a very difficult full length watch. And there is no full length reaction that's going to, that's on Patreon that, or that will maybe ever go on Patreon because it's probably just me being annoyed and frustrated. And who wants to, you know, do that. Um, mine is more for movies I don't love. Three action person loves. That's that. I like that too. Um, I don't know if I'd watch five people watch the same movie. Yeah, no, I'd probably watch one. I probably would watch up to two, and I probably would be in the middle of watching the third. I'd be like, okay, I'm good. Um, okay, the kids are so annoying. Oh god, just the whole. They were so yeah. It was so frustrating. The lack of empathy that these kids had really made me crazy and I couldn't get past it for the, the duration of the movie. And it finally ended with her flipping him off. And I was like, that is great. But then they still had the credits start and then it came back and he's like, I think we should go see her at the hospital. And I was like, get the hell out of my face. Like, I don't ugh, like, stop it. Can you just give me the one happy moment and not have this little whiny bitch of a kid win? you know, so whatever. Sorry. That's how I felt about it. But listen, I have to, I have to go everyone. This was our found footage um, film night. I am really excited for our found footage February. If you have more movie suggestions, send them to me on the Patreons because that's where I'm going to look to for what to watch and stuff. Um, I'd be a terrible reactor. I've seen way too many and new. To, yeah, no, there's some, yeah. Again, it's difficult for me to hide if I'm annoyed by a movie. So, sorry. Um, okay, last one. Like I said before, we were watching the kids and better watch out, be sociopaths, but why? What was the reason? Yeah, what was the reason? Literally, what was the reason? We're not gonna, we're gonna end on up. We're gonna end on a positive. Prima Donna says bye. That's positive right there. So thank you all very much. Um, appreciate you all. And I'll probably be live again with you guys next week. And then don't forget to look out for the Valentine's Day, love you so much I could kill you, trivia night with me and Blockbusted. There's going to be prizes, and I'm really excited for that because I had a blast when we did the holiday horror one. So get your trivia knowledge, like, queued up, ready to go. Scott says, have a good night. Thank you very much. And I've been shut up, James, like I would usually say, you know, right? Goodbye. <laughs>